Hello and welcome to Access U TV. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'd like to talk to you about how to use questions. I asked a friend um, on Facebook a question and he was like, what do you mean by that? How do you do that? What is that? Now the question I asked him was, what would it take for you to have fun between now and next time I see you? And he was like, huh? So I'm wondering how many of you, when I ask you a question on my, on my videos, um, are like, huh? What do I do with that? She's asked a question, what do I do with that? So what I thought I'd do today is give you some information about how to use questions and how to create a different reality using questions. Now, a question like, what would it take to have fun? is actually just a what would it take? It's an opening up of possibilities. It's an opening up of um, a different reality that hasn't existed before. Now, you've all heard the saying, ask and you shall receive. I mean, it's even in the Bible. Now, it is actually true. If you ask, you shall receive. Yet, as I've said in a previous video, there's a two-step method there. You need to ask, and then when it shows up, you need to receive. <laughs> but, and um, so when we're not actually asking, then the universe has got, oh, okay, they're happy. Sweet, don't need to do anything for them. Who's asking for some assistance? Who's asking for some support? So when you ask, what would it take to have fun? It opens up these windows, it pulls back the curtains, it throws back the doors, and allows you to perceive, know, be, and receive all the places which you can have fun. All the places that are actually possible to have fun that you hadn't been looking at before. So, um, you know, it may be that, you know, you're driving the kids to school and it's, oh God, driving the kids to school again. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm just a taxi, really. Blah, 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 blah. And this is going... And then you think of that question, what would it take to have fun? And you're like, huh, hmm, what would it take to have fun? And you turn the radio on and start singing along, or you ask one of the kids a question, or you start doing something, being something, but just enjoying see, looking out the window. And the trip to school actually starts to be fun, instead of being that drag that it was before. See, it's not about a doing, it's about a being. Fun and choice and possibility, they're all just that, a choice. So what if asking a question can open up your awareness to a different possibility? Question, choice, possibility. Then, again, question, choice, possibility. <laughs> What else is possible if you were just willing to ask for it? Now, some of you might go, what would it take for me to win a million dollars? Cool. And what, would you do, what if you were to start asking, what would it take to have more money flowing into my life? And as it shows up, acknowledge it. Cool, I asked for this. It showed up. Can I have more now, please? So as the fun starts to show up, can I have some more now, please? Yahoo! What else is possible? Start acknowledging that when you've asked, it's shown up, you've received it, and you'd like more. Because <laughs> there's never a thing called greed. That is a point of view of somebody somewhere on the planet. And it doesn't have to be your point of view. So would you be willing to step up and start actually asking for what you desire? You may not desire fun. You may not desire happiness. You may not desire money. But what is it you desire? And are you asking for it? Because if you're not asking, the second part doesn't happen. Ask, then receive. Not sit back, do nothing, think nothing and receive. Got it? So cool. I look forward to hearing in the comments about what you ask for and receive. 
And remember, it never shows up the way you think it will. So what else is possible if you were to ask and receive? Cheers.